I hope you're all alright. Today I want to talk about um, some glasses that I sold. Um, I sold 120 wine glasses um, and as you know I'm very new to this. I've never sent anything like that before. And basically what they were were three 10 kilogram boxes and a three kilogram box. So 33 kilograms in total. Um, and I didn't know really know how to post it. I went to the Royal Mail and they were charging like £60. I was like, no thank you. <laughs> so I was looking around and I stumbled across a video. Um, again, it's one of Nick and Zaheer's um, tat chats, I think it was. And they were talking about Hermes <clears throat> and parcel to go So I thought, well, I'll have a look. So I went on parcel to gocom put in all the diameters, all the weights. Um, and it came out at £20. The cheapest was Hermes on parcel to go. So I thought, right, I'll have that. £20 delivery. Um, I sold the glasses for £100 as well. So free delivery. Uh, because I, I did a, a whole lot um, sale for somebody. And that was part of the agreement. So <clears throat> I packaged them up. I packaged them really well as well. They was in the original boxes they came in. Um, so they already had bubble envelopes in there. They was already wrapped. They was already cased into 12s inside the boxes. Which was then bubble wrapped over them. Um, and the 3 kilogram box had loads of air bubble wrap. Uh, so basically I, I wrapped them up as I got them. So they were pretty well wrapped. And I sent them away with Hermes. I went to the local shop. I told them it was glass. I wrote on all the boxes glass. I wrote on all of them fragile. Um, anyway, it went. And that was it. I got my little slip to say they'd gone. Um, a week later. Bear in mind, they should have been delivered in three days. A week later, I got a message from parceltogo.com. Uh, basically saying to me. Um, we've opened, a, a claim has been opened for this product. So I was like, crap, what's happened? I thought, well, I've, I haven't opened a case, so it must be, the, must be the, the buyer that has opened the case. You know, they must have come smashed or something. So I messaged the buyer and I said, hi, is everything all right with the product that's been delivered? Um, let me know if there's any issues. Um, and another four days went by and I had not heard anything back. So at this point I was thinking, right, well he, he's not messaged me back. Uh, I need to know what's going on really. So I'm, I'm going to message Parcel to, to go. I can't find a phone number anyway, by the way. But on the Facebook page, there's like a, a messenger chat. So I opened one of those up. And I said, look, I'm really sorry, this is the number, blah, blah, invoice number. Um, I've, I've had an email saying I've had a claim opened against me <clears throat> for the package. Um, the buyer is not getting back to me, do you know anything about it? So a day went by and I got a message back from parcel to go Saying, yeah, we've opened the claim for you on your behalf. Because Hermes have messaged us um, and said... That they've smashed the smaller box of 12 glasses in the warehouse. So they've not even sent it out to the customer. They've just sent the other three boxes. Uh, so I was like, right, okay. Um, so you've opened the claim for me. What what do I need to do now? Because the buyer's not said anything to me yet. And she said, no, no, leave it with me. Um, we'll sort it. Uh, all you need to do is fill in a few details about the delivery. Um, and so I, they made me open an account with them, parcel to, to go. So I filled out the details. They said don't worry about any photos. Because because Hermes was accepting liability in the warehouse, I wouldn't need any photos of the damage or anything like that, the packaging. So I obliged and I did everything they did on the form. And that was that. Um, anyway, two days after that... So we're, we're, in, we're a good couple of weeks in now. Two days after that, parceltogo.com messaged me back saying, 
um, due to it being glass and glassware, you're not liable for any compensation. Now, bear in mind that I declared it was glass on the website, I paid extra for signage, and I paid for the insurance, £3.50 insurance on top of that as well. So bear in mind I paid for all of that. Uh, for them to then say that it's not covered because it's glass, I thought, well, what's the point? They said, you've... So I messaged them back again. <clears throat> I said, look, you've messaged me, you've opened the claim, you've said go and do this, you've also charged me £3.50 insurance on a product that is uninsurable. I said, so, do what you want, really. I says, I said, because, you know, I, I can't do anything now about it anyway, can I? I said, but next time, don't message me saying you've opened a claim for me against something that I can't claim for, and then charge me for the insurance to claim for the claiming of it and that was it basically anyway a couple of days after that the buyer left positive feedback and said thank you very much they love the glasses now okay the dilemma the customer has either not noticed or not bothered about the 12 smashed glasses. I mean, there is 120 glasses. He may not have noticed there's 12 missing. But he's given me positive feedback. He's not answered any of my messages when I inquired about him. And he said he's very happy with the product. So, dilemma number one. Do I tell the customer there's 12 glasses missing? Bearing in mind, he's very happy with the product. I don't know. Dilemma number two, when you when using parceltogo.com for glassware, don't pay for insurance because glassware is uninsurable. So they will just be taking your money for nothing. So don't don't get the insurance. Even if it's a mega expensive item like glass like mine was a hundred pounds glassware, I thought I I'd better insure this. I did the right thing. I paid an extra three pounds fifty plus VAT. But I thought I've got to make sure that gets there right. Uh, doesn't doesn't matter. It's glassware. If it smashes, you don't get nothing back anyway. So lesson learnt there. Uh, use a better um, delivery service. Hermes. I've heard lots of stories about Hermes kicking boxes, breakages. I think next time I'll pay a little bit more money and use someone like UPS. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So anyway, that's my little stories about Hermes and ParcelToGo.com. I've been also buying a lot of stuff off Wish.com. <sighs> I've done this once before and I was bitterly disappointed with the products that came. You're going through Wish.com on the app and you see something. Yeah, it should have been £35 going for free. £1 delivery. Bargain! I'm going to get one of those. You know what, I might get a couple of those. Multi-list on eBay. Four weeks later, they arrive. Nothing like the description. Nothing like the picture. Sub, Substandard design and make. And I will not learn. So I went on again last week. Well, no, not last week, a few weeks ago. And I ordered some uh, coins. Some necklaces, some earrings, I've got a Fortnite hat coming, I've, I've bought a wallet. I've spent about £30 on Wish.com, basically. And I've had a few of the items come. Now, some of the coins actually look really, really good. <clears throat> They're like Bitcoin memorabilia, and I've got Michael Jackson coin memorabilia, and a yes-no flip coin uh, all on the way. I've got some Bitcoins here already. And they're pretty good, I must admit. I like them. I've ordered some more. Ugh, but everything else. I bought a watch. The watch has come. None of the inside is movable. Even though it looked as though it was all moving inside on the picture. So you basically just got a watch that ticks hours and minutes. And in the background you've got all the alarms and stuff. that are just It's just a picture. 
Can I sell that? I probably can. Can I get the fifteen pound, twenty pound I wanted for it? No. It's going to be like a, it's going to be a couple of pound, four pound, five pound. Uh, also, I bought some studded earrings. They look okay. I could probably sell them for five a pair. I've got twelve pairs come. Uh, I've also got a necklace that isn't moving. Although I thought the necklace looked quite nice. It's very light. And it's obviously... I know it's costume jewellery anyway. But it's a cheap costume jewellery. So yeah. Bottom line is... Don't buy from Wish.com. To sell on eBay. Um, you're not going to make a lot of money off of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to traditional retail arbitrage. Yeah. And car boot sales charity shops. So... Lesson number three of the video. Yeah, don't shop on wish.com to resell. You're going to regret it. Thanks for watching. Um, I am quite new. I've had loads of new subscribers, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm up to about 60, 61 now from 30. So I've, I've put three videos up now. Uh, and I've got 30 plus subscribers in less than a month. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much. Um, I'm meeting a lot of people off of the Tat Chat group on Facebook as well. Um, so yeah, I might post this video in there as well. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. I put a video out at least once a month, probably two or three a month. Uh, I'm gonna. The next video I'll be putting out will be in February, and it will be my January sale. So I'll let you know what I sold in January, how much I've made from it etc. I've sold quite a few things in January as well. I'm pretty chuffed. Uh, December was my first month. I think I sold about eight items and I didn't make a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but it's a lot of learning curves in there. <clears throat> now, as for January, well it's January the 21st at the minute. I've got, I've got a week left of January. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with my sales. I think I've got about... Uh, They've got about 20 sales so far, 15, 20 sales, and I've made a lot, lot more money on it. A lot of the stuff is still cheap stuff because I'm getting rid of all my DVDs. If you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I've got about, God knows how many hundred DVDs to sell, and they're all going for 99p, which I've now increased on the auctions to £1.99 starting, because I've found 99p is not making me any money at all, especially when they keep relisting. So, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers, guys.